Hello and welcome to another episode of General Nerdery. As promised last time, I'm going to show you how to convert your video files to play on your Android tablet. But not just that, I'm going to show you how to convert them for your Android tablet, your iPhone, your PlayStation 3, your PS3, in fact any device that you have, I'm going to show you how to use a free program to convert your video to play on it. Okay, so the program we're going to be using today is called FreeMake Video Converter. You can get it at freemake.com slash free underscore video underscore converter. Or you can just go to download.com and search for FreeMake. After you've installed and opened the program, you're going to want to uh, put a video file in it to convert. Simply select the video file and drag it into this field here. The program will then analyze the file and display it in this list. If you want to convert more files, just drag them in underneath and it will create a batch list. By flipping this toggle here, you can decide whether or not you want to join the files, meaning take multiple video files and output it as one single long file, or the default, which is to leave them all as independent files. And I just said file a lot. Before you do your conversion, you may have a couple choices to make. First of all, if your video has more than one audio track, you can select it from this list here. In this case, the video only has one audio track, so there's really no choice to make. Also, if your video has subtitles, you can select them from this list here if you want them to appear on the converted video. The next thing you want to do is decide what kind of video file you want to output to. And FreeMake has presets for virtually every kind of video file you might want to make. Uh, AVI for generic Windows playback. MKV, which is a very popular format for high definition files on the internet now. Apple for iPods, iPads, uh, Apple computers, of course, and so, so on. Android for things like uh, Android phones, Android tablets. The FreeMake software can make DVDs or Blu-rays on its own with no external burning software needed. Uh, especially with Blu-rays, this is quite handy because uh, many computers now do come with Blu-ray burners, but do not come with any software with which to create a Blu-ray video disc. So if you have a high definition camcorder, you can now make your Blu-ray discs. To MP3, if you want to take a video file and simply make an audio file out of it. To YouTube, now this is an interesting one. If you enter in your, your username and password for YouTube, it will convert and then automatically upload whatever video you convert. To MPEG-4, which is a very generic video file format that many, many things can play today. It's highly compressed, uh, but without losing much quality. To WMV is a Windows Media file, basically uh, very compatible with all Windows uh, machines uh, and also um, Windows Phone 7 phones. Uh, SWF and FLV are two different formats of flash video. To MPEG, in other words MPEG-1, MPEG-2, um, an older uh, but still widely used video format, uh, works on all Windows machines and uh, MPEG-2 is also the video file format used in DVDs. Um, a note, uh, Apple computers cannot play MPEG files without purchasing additional codecs. To Sony for uh, PSP or PS3. And finally to 3GP, which is a very common video file format used in older cell phones primarily. So if you have an older phone that's not a smartphone, you can still convert your videos and play them on that phone. Now once you've selected the format, let's go back over here to the Android. There are further presets for any one of these primary categories. In the case of Android, it's a bunch of uh, resolution presets. Now, they haven't really added one uh, that I think is ideal for Android tablets. I suppose they mean to use the uh, 1024 by 600 uh, as an Android tablet preset, but I created my own, which is something else you can do. I created my own preset for the Toshiba Thrive. Let's just uh, go and take a look at that real quick. I selected size up to 1280 by 720, uh, which is also known as 720p resolution. 
What the size up to means is that if a video file is 720p or smaller, it will leave uh, that video in its original resolution. However, if it is larger than, set, than uh, 720p, let's say it's a 1080p video file, it will, in the process of converting the video, down convert it to 720p, which is plenty high enough to, for watching on a tablet. Uh, I selected the video codec H.264 because that works quite well on the uh, Thrive. It's a very efficient video file uh, format, uh, very, very high quality. Um, the frame rate, I chose to leave original. Uh, in other words, uh, regardless of what the frame rate of the original video file is, that is the same frame rate that the outputted video will be. Uh, the bitrate type, you can set uh, a manual bitrate, but uh, auto seems to work just fine. Uh, the program will uh, analyze the video and determine what bitrate is necessary to maintain a uh, almost lossless playback quality. Uh, audio type, AAC, is uh, generally uh, the matching uh, audio format for uh, MPEG-4 video files. Uh, you can also use uh, MP3 as the audio if you choose. I guess we're going to leave it uh, as a stereo because uh, that's how we would be listening to it on a device like the Thrive. Uh, the sample rate of the audio, uh, you can just leave it as, as uh, original as well, uh, but uh, most video files, the sample, audio for, the sample rate for the audio is uh, 48 kilohertz. Um, whereas some other audio sources like CDs uh, are, if I remember correctly, 42 kilohertz. And there's really no need to convert it if your, if your device can support both, and uh, the Thrive certainly can. Bitrate, I'm also going to leave this at auto for the same reason I left it on auto for video. Uh, the auto selection seems to do just fine. Now OK. Now if I wanted to create an additional uh, preset, and in fact the way I created this preset was simply to uh, click this little uh, plus button, add your preset. And now based on the one that was already selected, it creates a new custom preset and I can change whatever settings I want. Click OK, and I have a new preset with those settings as my default. And this works on any one of these uh, video conversion methods. Next, to decide where you want to output the video file to. And finally, uh, do you want to use one pass or two pass encoding? Uh, generally speaking, two pass encoding will produce a video file of the same quality that will take up less space. The computer will take the first pass to fully analyze the video and determine at what points it can afford to lower the bit rate without any visible loss in quality. And because of that, you will wind up with a smaller video. This is especially uh, important when you are converting your videos for portable devices because you don't have a lot of storage. So if I have time, I, usually, I will set it for two pass. Frequently, if I have a whole bunch of videos to convert, I'll just uh, line them up, set it for two pass, and go to bed. Uh, note that the estimated file size here does not change when you select one or two pass. So after you've selected it, hit convert, and the program will begin its conversion process. Note that if you're doing two pass, for the first 50% of the total progress, no video file will show up in the location you're outputting to. That's because, as I said, the first pass is purely analyzing the video. After it passes 50%, a file will appear in that location. Um, that's really all there is to it. I'm going to cancel this. Don't need to actually output a video right now. So that's Freemake Video Converter. It's very easy to use, very easy to customize, and can convert videos for just about any device that you may want to uh, make a video for. So I suppose that's our episode for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please remember to rate, review, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on General Nerdery.